What do you do when you're struggling for energy, but you're eating enough? What if you're in that situation where you're just constantly fatigued, constantly trying to grind your way through the day, but you're actually not eating too bad. You're eating what you think is enough calories, getting the nutrition that you need, but it's not really having any effect. You're just feeling just tired and run down all the freaking time. That's what we're going to be talking about on today's episode of the show. Now, as usual, what I'm going to do is offer you some amazing free shit. In the link in the show notes below, you will find a ton of free resources. So calorie calculator, free calorie guide, four-week training program, loads of stuff basically that's going to give you a kickstart to a leaner, healthier life right now. If you want that, link in the show notes, it's there for free. You'll first get access to the calorie calculator. From there, I'll send you one thing per day on email. It will be amazing. Plus, you can also check out the online coaching program, The Lean Life Method. And whilst we're at it, why don't you, if you are watching on YouTube, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. And if you're on a podcast platform, a rating and a review, particularly on iTunes, five stars, obviously, will be absolutely freaking amazing. So let's get into this episode of the show. Now, first of all, I would start with being objective, not subjective about the situation. Like objective being thinking, thinking about like logic, data, subjective, like emotions and feelings. So you want to base what you're thinking about your current situation where you've got no energy, but you're eating well, Base that on data, on facts, on logic. Don't be thinking about like emotions. Like, oh my God, I feel so tired, but I'm doing this and doing that. That's like emotion. Like take that away. Let's start thinking about right objectively what's going on. So the first thing first is, are you really eating enough? What does the data say about are you really eating enough? Now, when you say I'm eating enough, did you set yourself a really low calorie target but actually you're eating to that calorie target, but actually that may be too low for what you actually need to exist and function. So maybe you need to increase calories. Are you actually monitoring calories at all? Are you thinking that you're just, I'm just generally eating enough, but actually when you look at the calorie content, it's not actually that high or sufficient in order to give you sufficient energy for the amount of activity and movement that you do on a daily basis. Is it the case that your activity has increased? Have you changed your workout program? Have you increased the amount of cardio you do? Have you increased workout intensity? Have you changed the type of workout you do? Obviously, sitting around in a gym, taking three minutes between sets is a different level of energy expenditure to doing a 45 minute to an hour of a hit session. Very, very different in terms of the amount of energy that you may use. Not to say one's more effective than the other, although I would prefer the weight session myself. Now, how has also your weight been changing over a period of time? If you are really eating enough and energy balance is at maintenance, then you should be level with your weight. Your weight should be maintenance over a long period of time. If you are losing weight and potentially losing weight quite quickly, that might say again that calories aren't in the right place. So maybe you would start to think about increasing those calories. So really when you start to, again, really have these problems, these issues, is strip out the emotion, strip out how you feel, and then start looking at the data objectively and start making honest and sometimes like really brutal decisions about what you're doing you know really have a word with yourself are you adhering to this that and the other are you really doing what you think you're doing if you had to sit down and audit yourself would you pass on what the hell you're saying all these various different things are really really important now if calories are being able to be maintained and your weight stable then you might want to consider say the macronutrient breakdown of your food so maybe it's the case that you're someone who just loves a carb and you want more carbs in a, in a, to feel more energized. Maybe on low carb, you feel a bit meh, your workouts are a bit meh, and therefore more carbs are advantageous. So change the macronutrient breakdown, have some more carbs in your diet. 
maybe opt for a wider variety of fruits and vegetables and other foods that contain those micronutrients. If you're always kind of like stuck to one type of veg or one type of fruit, then you might not be getting the amount of micronutrients that you need. The if you generally start to vary different colors on the plate is usually a good one. When you start to vary those fruits and vegetables, you are getting different micronutrients in different quantities from those foods, which helps you build up that full spectrum. If you are someone who's right really against vegetables and against fruit, then maybe a multivitamin might be a secondary option for you. You might want to also look at timing and frequency of your meals. Are you trying to pigeon pigeonhole yourself in intermittent fasting, but that's not working for you? So maybe you want to adjust the timing of those meals. Maybe you want to adjust the frequency of those meals. Maybe you're really hungry post-workout and you have this energy dip. Again, you might want to just adjust your timing strategy, your frequency strategy to work around that. You might want to also look at your timing and volume as well. You might be having smaller meals in certain parts of the day to save calories for later. But again, that might not be working for you from an energy level perspective. What I would do is start to think about the patterns. What patterns are you seeing in your energy levels? Are they always on a particular day? Are they always at a particular time of the day? Where is it in relation to a workout? Those sorts of things start to really understand. Again, look at the data, look at the facts. What is happening when you are feeling these energy lulls? Can you then start to pinpoint what the actual issue is and only then can you actually start to resolve the problem. Most people don't actually make progress because they never really define the fucking problem in the first place. They just do random scattered gun shit all over the place and never really get anywhere with their results. So adjust all that stuff as you need to. The next thing like sleep is such a huge factor in this whole equation. Whether you've got lack of energy or not, sleep is a huge variable that many, many, many people neglect. So don't do that. So are you getting enough sleep? How much sleep are you getting? Are you tracking that? You know, what quality of sleep are you getting? You know, you can track uh, sleep quality in various different apps, in Fitbit and things like that, that tells you like the quality of sleep that you're having. What does that look like? Has that improved? Has that declined? All these various different factors are important. So maybe you want to assess your sleep hygiene. Maybe you want to adjust the amount of caffeine you have. And if it's you, you're having too much later in the day that's affecting your sleep pattern, your sleep quality, all of these things start to matter. You might also be training too much. Train volume might be too high. You might be pushing up to like MRV if you're doing all that sort of periodization stuff. Or you might be just doing too much cardio. You might be desperate to try and lose weight. So you think, wow, well, do an hour or two of extra cardio and things like that, or do a hit session here. Or if I just do more, 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 it's going to benefit me. Sometimes it can work against you. If you're feeling low, energy is down, mood might be down as well. That might impact your ability to adhere to your calorie deficit. And again, it's all this holistic approach to your nutrition, your lifestyle, your training, everything that matters. It's all intertwined and making sure that you're not kind of going to excess on one part of the puzzle like training is crucially important. After that, I may be looking at something like stress, hydration even. So dehydration could be a cause for fatigue. So drink enough water so that your pee is clear. That would be a easy, quick win for you. Stress. Stress could lead you to be feeling like emotionally and physically drained. Again, not easy to always deal with stress. You can't always stop the stress at the source, which is ideally the way to go. But you might be able to implement some various different approaches that mitigate its effects. So it might be that you find ways to just chill the fuck out. Maybe some Netflix and chill with your loved one is going to stress make you stress-free. Maybe it'll stress you the fuck out. I don't know. Depends how you do it. But other than that, you could meditate. Meditate might not be your jam, but everyone's got a few minutes just to sit, relax. Some guided meditation on an app is always quite good. Just for some breathing, just to kind of like center yourself and get yourself a little bit more fucking zen is always quite good. And then maybe it's like a little side point. Maybe for those of you out there, if you're vegan, maybe you want to look at your B12 and your iron levels. Uh, maybe you want to start supplementing, maybe. I don't know. Again, 
depends on the person, depends on where your situation's at. But again, you're looking at data, you're looking at facts, that's the key thing. So overall, you need to consider all these nutrition and lifestyle variables first. Make sure that you have thought about all of these different things, make sure you've implemented strategies, make sure you've been fucking honest, because most people aren't honest with themselves. They'll kind of like know that they're not doing something, like sleep is a classic one where, yeah, yeah, sleep, whatever, man, yeah, yeah, I'm not gonna do anything about that. But actually creating that sleep routine, being disciplined with that sleep routine, not fucking watching Netflix till 12 in the evening before you go to bed and have to get up at five, you know, not doing those things is going to benefit you and ignoring them is just going to perpetuate the situation. So prioritize this like unsexy stuff. Make it a priority and do something about it. Don't expect the answer to be something brilliantly freaking amazing that's going to be, oh my God, oh, oh, so looking forward to changing that about my life. So it's going to be amazing. It's really not going to be like that. It's going to be some fucking boring thing that you're going to have to start to work on, which is sleep, which is looking at the nutrient content of your diet. All these various different things. You might say, oh, God, it's a bit hard work. Sometimes it is a little bit of hard work, especially if you don't quite know what it is you need to change, which is why maybe you're stuck in that situation. Maybe you think, well, Simon, you can fucking sort it out for me. You can uh, sign me up to your Lean Life Method coaching program. No problem whatsoever. Link is in the show notes. So hopefully this episode of the show gave you some things to think about when it comes to nutrition and lifestyle factors that are impacting your energy levels and what you can kind of do about them in order to start to overcome that problem and actually start to make some progress. So if you did enjoy this episode of the podcast, I would love to hear about it. Instagram is at iron underscore paradise underscore fitness. As I mentioned as well, you can get loads of free stuff and find out about my online coaching program in the link in the show notes below. Plus, why not give me that review? iTunes, Spotify, wherever, five stars, awesome, thank you. And also like and subscribe on YouTube, awesome. But for now, all I'm gonna say is thanks so much for listening, thanks so much for watching. Keep living the lean life and I'll see you for the next episode of the show.